Hey guys and welcome to another quick pie video. In this video we're going to go over how to make this, an ESP8266 powered YouTube OLED display. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is get your YouTube channel ID. So you want to open YouTube and for my case I'll be using my own channel, Quick Pie. And so once you uh, search your channel you'll find your channel. And uh, if you go to the URL bar you'll see this channel slash this sequence. You want to copy this sequence as this is really important. And uh, let's try another channel. So here I'll select one of my favorite channels, Great Scott. So once you click on Great Scott, um, go to the URL bar once again, you'll see it says user slash Great Scott Lab. That's not what we want. So if we want the correct URL, just select one of his videos and click on his channel link once again. And once that loads, you should see there's a slash channel slash um, his channel ID. So if you want to use that, you can copy that as well. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is open Safari and go to the following link. And click enter. So once you have entered the link, uh, you should see the Arduino file. Use Control S on Windows and Command S on Mac and make sure you save as page source and make sure the .ino stays. And I'm saving it to my desktop and click save. Click don't depend on Mac. So now you sh should see the files already on my desktop. So I'm going to close Safari and open the file. And so the Arduino ID should load up. So now that the Arduino ID is uh, loaded up, click OK for the message it gives. So you want to edit two parameters in the file. That's the uh, channel ID and channel name. Change this to your um, channel ID that we got before and channel name to the one we got before. Make sure they're in the quotes. And then you want to go to sketch include library, manage libraries, and now we're going to install a few libraries. So the first library we're going to install is Wi-Fi Manager. Make sure you enter that as one word and then click install. So the next one we're going to do is SSD1306 uh, ESP8266 and it's the second one by Daniel and Febreze and you want to click install. Once you've installed that, the next one you want to do is Arduino JSON. Make sure you enter that as one word and click install. So now that we've installed all the libraries we need, click close. So click the verify button to make sure that the um, uh, there are no errors. If it says done compiling, that means we've installed everything successfully. And so now we can upload it to our ESP. So go to uh, tools, board, and then select the correct board uh, that you're using and then go to upload speed and select 115200 and as well as select the correct serial port. So in my case I'm selecting my specific serial port. Make sure your ESP is in up, uh, upload mode and click upload. So it should take a few seconds to compile and this can take a few minutes to install everything on your ESP266. I'm going to speed through this. And so that's it with the coding section of the tutorial. Now let's move on to the wiring section. Okay, so here's the wiring diagram, bridge, reset, and D16 on the ESP8266, then connect VCC to VCC, ground to ground, SDA to SDA, and SCL to SCL, and that should complete the wiring. So now we can move on to the Wi-Fi pairing section of this video. Okay, so now that um, we have uh, powered on the ESP8266 and it's on, you can go to your Wi-Fi on your device and turn it on. And so you should see the YouTube OLED um, hotspot. Click on that. This should take a few seconds to connect. So once you see the checkbox, uh, you should see the login page pop up. Click on the configure Wi-Fi. This does take a few seconds. And then select your access point and enter the password. And then click save and it should say credential saved and uh, it should take another few seconds to completely restart the ESP8266 but that's it guys uh, once it restarts uh, it should start uh, showing data on the display thanks for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below